I talk for the press. Well, my people, me here for drop the real news, you know, news reviews, everything in a one right this or right there, my people. So all I want to know to do is like up the video, share out the video, subscribe to my channel, my people. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Let's get right into it. A corrupt government cannot liberate the people. If the head of the stream is corrupt, the entire river will be also. A blessed, a blessed good day to you, my wisdom warriors. Wagwan, wagwan. I hope you guys are in good spirit. Well, in the morning, yeah. In the Saturday morning, yeah. Me come for a drag on the memory. May I bring on a straight back down memory lane. Take in this. Opposition leader Mark Golden said on Sunday that he was baffled by the decision of the Integrity Commission to indicate that it has no outstanding report to be tabled in Parliament, noting that he made no reference to outstanding reports from the Commission. So when I hear that, Mr. Mark Golden said he is baffled. Opposition leader said he is baffled by the decision of the Integrity Commission to indicate that it has no outstanding report to be tabled in Parliament, noting that he made no reference to outstanding reports from the Commission. My viewers and subscribers, this is our future Prime Minister speaking. You understand? And when this man come out in a man, a fax, truth, this man deal with in my viewers and subscribers. You understand? And I know him alone baffled. All we baffled too. We are wonder what go on. Because even me did I say, why Integrity Commission even by that come out for? I that me did I say, then they must think that they must salt. Every time you see them, push out them head, push out their head, and then a pure confusion. Pure confusion about the place, my viewers and subscribers. You know, understand? This is not right. This is why I like when Mark Golden come out and talk up with things them and talk truth and rights. Enough people always say, oh, Mark Golden is quiet. He not even do nothing. That the man they can't lead. Look. This is money out and a long time this is money attack, you know. I just threw some of the article them now and post him. That's why he always in a house of parliament attack and have Jamaican people back. But just threw some of the article them, then now and post him. You understand? Now you see enough of them run out because enough bloggers is posting it. You understand? And it is just the truth, my viewers and subscribers. They have to talk truth, you know. Me now go around the thing. According to the article, it said Mark Golden stresses that immediate concern is about Auditor General's report to Parliament, not Integrity Commission's. You understand me? Remember, you know, them of the Integrity Commission and they have the Integrity Commission Oversight Committee. You understand? Right. So those are the two because sometimes it have to go. You see, anything coming to the coming from the Integrity Commission, it have to go over to the Oversight Committee first. That is where Andrew Owens have a whole of the labor right them over there, including Everal Warmington, Miss mm, Lashy, and Headman Barlett. And I think Marlene Malahoshi over there too. Quite a few of them over there from the Labour, from the Labour part. They are telling me I understand this, them a problem here. Yeah. Hmm? Them a pass a pass a real mix up and blender them. You know, JLP them. Full of mix up and blender and no substance back of that. My viewers and subscribers, hear this. Opposition leader Mark Golden has accused the Jamaican Labour Party led government of impeding the dissemination of information on matters of public interest. My viewers and subscribers, this is according to the article. You understand? This is what's in the article. And his and has denounced as scandalous the revelation that two reports sent by Auditor General Pamela Monroe Ellis to Parliament for tabling were returned by Speaker of the House, Juliet Owens. So right now, they're saying that Mark Golden rips government for misleading public on status of Auditor General's report. And it's true. They're very misleading. And it is the truth, you understand? Because everything Integrity Commission posts, yeah? Anything they post, so when you look for Andrew Owens, IG page, for the whole like, in, in platform them, and him fuss around with it, and your oldness, and him start all of them something, yeah, my viewers and subscribers, he ever post it, this is what he does, and write up, come on watch him enough time, you understand, me make sure I so me follow him, so I don't miss nothing, 
Me no miss nothing. So when I see Mark Golden actually come out and attack things them. It is true. You understand? Yes, man. You have to beat and teach them Mark Golden. Yeah, man. You have to call them out when they do wrong. I like the way oh yeah move. You understand? A long time this man here, you know. A long time Mark Golden a fight for the Jamaican people. But the Jamaican people they fail to see. And I don't know what is going on. How comes they can how comes? But anyway, me can't even say much because one of them, you have a labor right, them will come out, come meet Juliet on this other day. I say all when hungry, I kill her. You understand? She still has say shower. All when hungry, all when they not give them nothing. And she all she even go as far and say she will die for them. <laughs> and when they look upon her, she she look like somebody has suffer like dog. You understand? So them for show you the type of mindset. For show you the type of mindset them have. Them not ready yet. You understand, my viewers and subscribers? Them not ready yet. None at all whatsoever. Them just then them just as then just disgraceful. Disgraceful and for sure you say they don't want nothing in her life. And you unless the whole of them are enrich themselves. The whole of them are enrich themselves after taxpayer money. And nobody now come out and talk about it. Only Mark Golden alone are the one we just come out and touch one and like a two points. You understand? But nobody remember you know I we are wait for the six the six illicit. At the six name we want, you know. We want to know for release the six name at that we want to know do. No time wasting around here. We need to release the six and talk go around. And that, so the time when Andrew Owens has spent an update on the platform and I post up Mark Golden. At that time, if you do post the six picture, we are wait, right? Or so. And I will be at half of the press is gladly, gladly willing to share it for you. You understand me? If you don't want to share it, you don't want nobody to know. Yeah? You can't share it with me. I mean, we kindly put it Opposition out. leader Mark Golden has asserted that Prime Minister Andrew Olness owes him an apology for leading a walkout of government members during the budget presentation. My viewers and subscribers, who agree with Mark Golden? Just on a just hey, on a just write agree in the comment section for me there. Because me agree with him. Mr. Golden made the assertion while speaking during an interview and the fix. Prime Minister Andrew Holness led a walk out of Parliament by government MPs in protest over Mark Golding's comments about the spousal relationship between the leader of the government and the Speaker of the House. House Speaker Juliet Holness is the Prime Minister's wife. Mr. Golding, who was a guest on the fix, dismissed claims that he was criticizing Mistress Holness as House Speaker. And he wasn't criticizing her. You understand? He was just telling her the truth. It wasn't it wasn't personal. So I mean I understand what was all of that about. You understand? This just to show you say and your oldness is just a coward. Yeah, he, he is just a coward because it looked like them plan this, you know. It looked like them plan the walk out, my viewers and subscribers. And I tell me what you think. It looked like them plan the walk out. Because remember, you know, you see them transcript. Member say, um, Andrew Owens and the whole of them MP already see it, you know. Say they know exactly what Mark Golden was going to talk about. Them know exactly what Mark Golden was going to talk about. So them know what they might do. So it seems like through them know say it's going to reach on the part of the sixth thief now. Everybody fly up. It look like it is a planting. And I believe so. You get me? This a man, this a man just show more and more that he is not fit to be a leader. He is not fit because as I say, he make impersonal emotions take over. That's why he walk out. That's why he walk out. Shame me, shame. Shame me, shame. And Mark Golden, honorable Mark Golden, deserve an apology. Whether I don't like it, yes or no. When me I say whether I don't like me, I chat. Andrew Owens and his team and his green people, he deserve an apology. Because you know, see them something that happen. You know, see them something that not happen now at all. But you see true, Andrew now a government bad man. That's why you see him do as he please. And he do what him like for do. And nobody not say nothing to him. Nobody not talk to him. Anytime he do nothing wrong, everybody come out and pick up for him. The whole of the head one them come out and pick up for him. PSOJ no come out and say nothing. Nobody not talk. Governor General, him was. Him quiet like a lamb. Only when it come to budget, this and budget that you see him come out. Nobody no business. My viewers and subscribers, only tell me what you think and tell me if you don't agree with Mark Golden. Hear this.
my wisdom warrior integrity commission of jamaica posted this on their page and they said accuracy is paramount when filling out your statutory declaration forms take your time and review all details before finalizing and making your submission avoid criminal culpability wanna hear that all right statutory declaration is number one then transparency is number two then accountability is number three and then full compliance is number four so listen to all the members of parliament the whole of uno me i help me i help uno out you know me i help uno out no hey my viewers and subscribers this is the most important part when we want to know if you hear avoid false statements all declarations are examined for due completion and accuracy false statements attract a fine of up to two million dollars or two years imprisonment my wisdom warriors my well-thinking jamaicans wanna hear what go on wanna hear what the integrity commission say the integrity commission say make sure say them avoid false statement because you can send them a prison for up to two years or then pay a million dollars. Me don't know why they put on a million dollars. They should have just a two year imprisonment and no million dollars. Yeah, can enough of them for a prison. Because they two damn thief. My viewers and subscribers, this is what I wanted to show you guys. You understand me? Because I tell you, 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 you see all well, of them hide this the six when you see them are hide the six protect them are protect the six and it is not right they are protect the six and we want the six figure prison not and not even two year we want them get we want we don't want them get no two year you see how the dpp are come come get cartel life imprisonment i saw them forgive them life imprisonment too see them where they forgive them life imprisonment remember you know my viewers and subscribers you know enough of them you know enough of them a thief taxpayer money for a long time the amount they thief will not even know you understand me so we want the six to be named we want the six to be named my viewers and subscribers this is the whole reason why i may show you what go down false declaration things they not even declare nothing enough of them to I, I tell lie in a day in declaration this is why you see them a drag 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 for table you know the reports on us say what go down and this a happen and then that's why mr andrew owners put out a so-called cabinet policy upon the mp them so they can't say nothing they can't talk about it and he need to lift that the gag order there and that me always a routine for lift the gag order you know want nobody figure prison eh? you know want nobody when you hear mark golden say when mark golden when mark golden take over he say he might go name the six thief he say I'm going to name the six thief. I cannot wait. I can't wait because you see, they are going like they want to humiliate Mark Golden, but they self they are going to humiliate. Not Mark Golden. My viewers and subscribers, uno tell me what you think. Put an honest opinion in the comment section. Like up the video, share it out, and subscribe to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome out. Uno big up on a nice clean cell. practice my, my ex because I want to make sure that my part don't spoil the selection there long time in labor right for Ghana you know? I'm too uncaring man make sure that my mark the ex right there so because I don't want the ballot to spoil see that ex yeah for the teacher they want to get them pay mm. you see that ex yeah and for the people they want dead by hospital bench because they never have no bed you see, that extra. Mm. After the police, them will work overtime and can't get them overtime pay. Yeah, man. You see, that extra. After the big salary, what the politician them give themselves? And I can't get little salary to the people. Them. That extra, right now, yeah. After the nurse, them. The nurse, them. After you working long, 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 long hours and can't get no pay, after you go out foreign to try to survive. You see, oh man, that extra? Yeah? This is because uh, that time they didn't take the bulldozer and mash up the house, them out of Clifton. You see, that extra? Yeah? 
and the arrogance and the dictatorship when they try to run the country and that. You see, I want to write you so. I feel all of the disrespect when they want to come to Jamaica. I want to make sure I say I mark my ex properly. Time come for a change. Time come for a better Jamaica. I practice my, my ex. Because I want to make sure that my part was spoil this election day. Long time them labor right there for Ghana. You know? Them two are caring, man. Make sure that my mark the ex right there. So, because I don't want the ballot spoiled. See that ex, yeah? For the teacher, they want to get them pay. Mm. You see that ex, yeah? And for the people, they want dead by hospital bench because they never have no bed. You see, that ex, yeah. Mm. And for the police, them will work overtime and can't get them overtime paid. Yeah, man. You see, that ex, yeah. And for the big salary, what the politician them give themselves. And I can't give little salary to the people, them. That ex, yeah, right no, yeah. And for the nurse, them. The nurse, them. What if you are working long, 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 long hours and can't get no pay if you go out foreign for try to survive? You see, Oh man, that ex yeah? This is because uh, that time they didn't take the bulldozer and mash up the house them out of Clifton. You see that ex yeah? And the arrogance. And the dictatorship when they try to run the country and that. Uh. You see, I want to write you so. I feel all of the disrespect when they want to come to Jamaica. I want to make sure I mark my ex properly. Time come for a change. Time come. They are better Jamaica.